Hey everybody, this is Jay. As you can tell, I'm down in the basement and I got the buggy down here. I got this down here last week. I just haven't had time to mess with it. I've had a lot of stuff going on in life. You know how it goes. But I did get a box of parts in. I got a few things and some of the stuff I already had. I already had this. I got this at a swap meet a long time ago. It was like nothing. Crank pulley there and I got an alternator in. It's not a genuine Bosch, but it'll work for me. And I just got a few odds and ends and get ready to build an engine, I guess, on the back of this Volkswagen. I've never built a Volkswagen air-cooled engine before. Never have. It's my first one, so I'm learning. And my, the boss man, like I was saying, like I said in one of my other videos, my boss man I work for, he's built tons of these things and said he can do it in his sleep. So we'll see. But we're going to go bigger. I think it's going to go, I'm thinking, I think it's going to be about an 1800 cc engine i'm not sure somewhere around there just a little mini stroker i'm not going all out because i want longevity i don't want something that's going to cause problems but anyway let's get started with this thing i'm tired of not working on it i'm tired of it sitting here i'm tired of weeks going by not getting anything done so what we're going to do today is we're going to work on getting these bars out of the way push back a little bit for more seat and leg room um, I got my uh, angle finder on there so I know where the angle is of the dangle here. Um, so what I'm going to do, it's, our, it's at zero, I'm going to cut, I'm going to take a sawzall and I'm going to cut down through here on those bars and i got to cut this middle plate loose so we can uh, scoot it back and I, I'll set my seat in here in the floor so we'll know how much leg room I need to cut out all this stuff or re-weld all this stuff in and uh, so I guess we'll get started with that got the easy part done I got the uh, tubing cut out as you can see it's all been cut out on all four corners so now I got the the non so the not so fun part so I got to grind down all this where the tubes were mounted on all four corners and I might even do it down here underneath the, the steering brakes and grind I got to grind down on top of those tubes too where all those welds were get all that ground down so I can test fit the seat in here, how back, I, how far back I can go, to give me plenty of leg room in here. Because beforehand, my knee was somewhere in this region. It was just crammed in. Not enough leg room for me. I'm six one, so I got to do that. I'm gonna, I'll, and, I'll, and then we'll set the uh, the bar that's over there on the side of that tire, the or the gas tank mount. We'll set it in here. We'll tack it in there with my welder. Well, I got everything ground down, and uh, as you can see. It's all ground down smooth and went over all corners and I just I just kind of mocked this up in here the fuel tank and I set my seat in here so I'll know how far back I need to go and where I need to be and everything and yeah that's where I'm at right now I gotta cut some I gotta cut the tubing a little bit as you can see and notch it so we can get it ready for welding but yeah it's going pretty good I think on this I'm just gonna bend this forward and maybe weld it somewhere right in here on that old on that stepping on something there, okay so yeah that's where i'm at getting it getting it done it took a little while to grind all that down smooth not even gonna lie it sucked at it that's why i'm outside because it's making such a mess in there in the garage and i've also noticed this every time i'm in the middle of doing something they're all over this lens there every time i'm in the middle of working on something it's when I always get all the phone calls. I don't ever get any phone calls unless I'm working or doing something. Notice, I don't know if, I, I don't know if you guys and gals ever have to deal with that, but I do. Got my seat mocked up. As you can see, my knee is not, it was up right here in the dash. And when I was looking out the windshield here, I was mostly looking right here at this bar before. I mean, I was like right in my direct line of view because I was so up high. Now, this is just, this right here is just right off my, my uh, right in front of my face not too bad way better than what it was and the cool part is also in the peak right here in this rollover bar whatever you want to call it my head's right here in the peak not right here where it was where it's going down in a slant so yeah i'll take that way better glad i did this well we got her cut down a little bit i'm doing a little at a time because i don't have a pipe stretcher in my toolbox anymore or ever so i'm just doing a little bit at a time just kind of looking it over i think right now on this side i'm pretty much good i just gotta notch it and i gotta do the other side and massage it in a little bit because i have it right where i want it everything lines up perfect both sides sitting at this 
But I uh, noticed this. Let me go around. <clears throat> Obviously, this is no longer for my steering brakes. This is going to be no longer long enough to fit down here. And I thought about putting it right here. But I think I'm going to put it back right here again. And since these are since this little tunnel piece has been cut out for the shifter a long time ago, but I guess my grandfather, I'm going to use this tubing I have. And I'll just slide it up inside those pieces, which, well, it fits. Slide it up in here, cut it to length to fit down there, and weld it in place. And I can weld up on top of that and fill that in if I need to. So I think that's what I'm going to do with that to take up that problem. And, and this will be at such a good rate that the steering brakes will be more up in the air instead of down between the seats. They'll be more up so you can grab them. Well, I started getting it put together. I started, I tacked it in right here couple spots but the uh, I realized over here you can see hang on let me go around I had to take it back loose right here I just fixed it but in this region there's a crack right here from where the other the other rear tube used to be right here and there's a crack right there didn't notice it didn't really notice it until I was putting the tube in getting ready to weld it in place or get it tacked in place so I can cut out my small little tubes, but anyway, we're getting ready to get a bad storm here. I, the winds just picked up and it's got dark. And I hear thunder off in the distance every so often. So I'm gonna probably call it a day for today. It's already almost six o'clock and I got things to do. We are at day two now of installing my fuel tank uh, mounting tubes, I guess. Uh, it's actually been, well, it's two days later from when I filmed the first one, but who's counting anyway? Well, getting some progress done. I uh, I got that side tacked in place. It's just roughly tacked. As you can see, I had a makeshift. I made this. I didn't get this side right here ground ground down far enough as I thought I did. Cause it, it just touches barely right there. So I need to grind down more of that tube where it'll fit in there. So I had to makeshift this little ratchet strap. It's pretty. It worked out really great though. I hold up this side so I can grind just this corner down right here at the bottom and it should be ready to go in and we'll weld it up little steps little things slowing you down and i polished that off and i got to make those tubes for down there too for well i got it uh welded in on the top halves of every of all of them i got it welded in just on the top and halfway around the, each side i gotta go back through and i'm going to weld up these holes or the old seat belts i'm going to use i'm going to use wraparound belts on this that thing ain't going anywhere. I already feel, started filling in that hole. But yeah, we're rocking it and rolling with it. And I got to build these next too. That's on my next thing to do. I can just bend this out of the way and move these brake lines and slide them in place. I'm not too worried about that. So, yeah, moving right along. The, uh, this is my um, cut brake or steering brake, whatever you want to call it, panel in. It's all welded. It's pretty solid. I'm going to go back and do some more welding a little bit here in a little while and let it cool off. So while it's cooling off, I'm going around grinding down some of these uh, where I did a spot weld on that where that seat belt bracket hole used to be. And I'm going to grind down around here a little bit make it look a little bit more cleaner. I don't know about you guys. I don't know if you guys ever do this, but I just spent five minutes of my life looking for my safety glasses that were on top of my head too. Just thought I might share that with you. I got all the welds ground down pretty more, pretty much. I'm, I might even do like he, my grandfather did, and take some glazing putty and go around those and sand it, make it all look like one, like he did with all my other, all my other joints on this thing. He kind of did back in the day. But got that done, and I got this welded in. It's not going anywhere. I got to, I'll grind down some of the welds on that eventually. But I was in the middle of cleaning up stuff, and I was going to talk to you guys a little bit about welding. I'm not a, I'm the world's best at it. I'll admit that. I just know enough to get me by but if you're on a tight budget get a flux core welder here's mine That's, i got that a long time ago on trade it's a little 80 flux core welder i mean i haven't i haven't used it in quite a long time it's good to to me flux core welder is good to use if you're outside in the middle of a field or if you're at a racetrack and you don't have access to a gas welder or a tig welder hey by all means use it but for the price i have and where well, you can buy a brand new flux core you can almost buy a brand new gas welder too and you can use this as flux core also it's a longevity brand it's a knockoff of a miller it's a 
longevity 140 it's 300 and some 350 60 bucks at home depot i mean can't really beat it the cart's a harbor freight cart it was 30 bucks uh, argon i got a tank of argon there it was 200 bucks because i had to uh is i wasn't going to rent it i wasn't going to rent a tank i just went and bought one i just got that size because it's home use I, I mean no sense in going any bigger for me i don't use i won't use it that much but i mean for around five five hundred something dollars close to six you got this and once you use a mig welder you'll ask yourself why in the world that i waste time on a flux core unless i'm out in the middle of a field or that's all you can afford but that's my tidbit on it take it as you take it or leave it it don't matter to me i'll catch you guys in the next video if you see if you like what you've seen today click the like button if you want to subscribe subscribe i'll catch you in the next one